one thing that I will tell you is the Christian walk is one of the hardest things you'll do in your life. It's not easy. Um, to deny yourself every day, put Jesus in the center of your heart in everything that you do. A lot of Christians themselves struggle. The people in the church struggle a lot as well. And you see it. And if you've been hurt by people like that, I want you to understand that. Mm, you know when, like, they have this, like, really good saying, when they say, like, let's say for Mozart or Beethoven, yeah, they've written, like, beautiful music. And then if someone comes later on and then they play the music but they butcher it and it sounds really bad, do you blame Beethoven or Mozart? No, you blame the person. And just in that sense, God is perfect and God is holy. Um, but us as humans are just sinful and we've fallen short in so many ways. But what we need to do and what we should have, well, as we do as Christians, as true believers in that way, is try our best to follow what it says in the Bible. And that's the way that we have to do. So a word of encouragement that I'd give to any new believers would be to honestly read your Bible, know your word, because some churches might not be the right place to be. You have to know the word itself. Um, and another one would be to keep the faith. It's not easy, but it's worth it in the end. Oh, well, the pleasure to meet you, Jennifer. Brother, God bless you, yeah, my no brother, worries. Joshua. Have Amen. Day, yeah. Joshua, yeah. Jesus, you know that, right? Joshua, Yeshua, yeah. Joshua. Yeah. Amen. You know what? That, that is some awesome words of wisdom there. And it's spot on. Everything you said is spot on. The Christian walk is not easy, but it's worth it. Right? Jesus didn't promise us grammars and butterflies every day. And it didn't. I think that's a misconception for those who aren't in Christ. They think that once you become a believer, life's going to be perfect. It's not. It's never perfect. If anything... The minute you say yes to Jesus, you've stepped into a battle zone and you have a target on your back. Yeah, it's a straight war. Yeah, because the devil like, hates oh, the name of Jesus war. and he hates that he's lost you over to the kingdom of righteousness and he'll try everything he can to bring you back onto his side. That's why we need to be in the word, we need to be in relationship, praying, fasting, because that's the only thing that will strengthen us and keep us strong and in keeping our eyes on Jesus. Because many Christians, you, you said it, many Christians are struggling. They're not in their word. They have a, a spirit of unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is the biggest thing. I've spoken to a lot of Christians that they cannot forgive those who've hurt them. Mm. Jesus said, unless we forgive others, he can't forgive us. And, and forgiveness is a big thing. He said, if you hate your brother, you hate your brother, but you love God. How can you love God but hate your brother? Anyone who hates their brother, God calls them a murderer. Isn't that true? I guess in that sense, it's that's what really the word what of God says. Heart. One John what three. We put in our heart and what we put yeah. through. Even says in the Lord's prayer in that way. But that's something that, as humans, it's not easy to do. And the only person that's been the only in way that we can do Jesus. it is to be in Jesus, because He gives us. I mean, I, I love people. I forgive people easily. I don't hold on to hatred or unforgiveness or bitterness. It's only because of my close walk with Him. But prior to that. Prior to that, when I wasn't in Jesus, man, I didn't, I, I hated the world, you know? It's a hard struggle. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's a hard struggle. And it's only a struggle if you call yourself a Christian and you're not in the Word, you're not in fasting and praying, and you're not being strengthened by Him. Because if you're walking one foot in Jesus, one foot in the world, then the enemy's got you where he wants you. Because Jesus There's said... another if, thing if, that if, they say as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to No, you're right, you're right, brother, you're right. Um, they say... Let's say there's a fence, and then there's heaven on one side and there's hell on the other. Yeah. And they say, you're not sure if you want to jump to heaven or not, you know, so you sit on the fence. Yeah, but then you know what the devil does? The devil's fine with it, because you yeah. know what he says? Yeah. The fence is mine as well. I love that! That is powerful. It's hard. It's yeah, I've heard about the fence. But it's, it's a lie like that. You it's so true, it's hey. Like that. Jesus, and that's why Jesus said, if we are lukewarm, he will vomit us out of his mouth. He'd rather have us that we were hot or cold, but because we are lukewarm, he'll vomit us out. So, no fence suitors will enter the kingdom of heaven. Because you're right, the fence belongs to the devil. <laughs> but in the end, it's up to God who judges and it's not. It is, a, it, it is up to God to ju who, who judges, but ultimately God already said in his word that, that he will vomit the lukewarm out of his mouth. So we're not going to get to heaven if we're lukewarm or if we walked half in the world, half in him. And then he's going to change his mind and say, actually, you know what? You did some good deeds, so I'll let you into my kingdom. It's either all in or all out. And, and God is not a man. that He's the same yesterday, today and forever. That's why we have to take his word seriously and, and not have the mentality that says, ultimately, God is judge. He'll understand me for the things that I'm, I'm doing. I am, God's not looking for perfection because no one's perfect, but he's looking for those who are contending for the faith. 
There's a difference. Someone might be struggling with something, but if they're coming to him daily and in prayer and in fasting and saying, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm trying, Lord, I'm trying. God knows. He knows the heart. He knows the heart beyond anyone else. Like he, he knows my heart. He knows your heart. And so you're right, like God looks at the heart, you know. But ultimately, we each have a cross to carry. Jesus said, if you, want, if you wish to follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross daily and follow me. See, a lot of, peop a lot of people don't want to be crucified. They'll say, I love God, I believe in God. But they, don't wanna, they do not want to take up their cross because it's painful. It's painful. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Uh, and it's actually the start of one of my favorite songs. Yes. It's called Marathon by MTM Isaiah. Is this in the book of Matthew? No, no. Um, so the verse is from uh, Corinthians. Yes. First yep. Corinthians. But yes. The, the verse itself is the start of one of my favorite songs. Well, so yes. it's a Christian rap song. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then it starts off there. So I can read it out to you if you like. Yes, yeah, sure. Just one second. So awesome when you meet other like-minded Christians who, and you have that conversation about Jesus Christ, isn't it awesome? 100%. I feel like it's I love something. talking about Jesus. It's There's like nothing better to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how it says in Proverbs, you know, how iron sharpens iron. Yes, it's amen. Having, like um, solid brothers and sisters around you, you can walk the fight with. Yes. Because you need community because it's not easy to Definitely. Work yes, sense. brother. It's so true. Finding yeah. a good community is very important. Yes, um, But yes. the verse is, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26 to 27. Yeah. And it says, Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it, a sl make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I, will, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. And I feel like that's something that... We have to hold our tight on as Ooh, preachers, you know? preacher. You are a preacher, brother. You're a preacher. Do, do you um, minister or, or do you preach the gospel? Or what, what's your calling? Like, have you like found your calling in the Lord, like as a Christian? I feel like my calling would be to glorify God in all things that I do. Amen. Um, amen. I'm looking into studying more this year, so I want yes. to work in um, as a social worker to help children in the youth justice system. So beautiful, yeah. So then, um, Amen. We'll see what happens. You know? Amen. You never know what God wants you to Because you know what? As a Christian and you have the Holy Spirit, God wants all of us to be a vessel. And, you know, when, when Jesus said, now go out and make disciples of everyone, he was talking about all those filled with the Holy Spirit. And I'm just speaking from what the Lord is showing me. You have a call upon your life. God has called you to be his voice. We're living in the last days. Jesus Christ comes back at a time that no one even knows. And the most important thing is you've got to ask, you, you've got to take it to the Lord and say, Lord, who do you want me to tell about you? Because you've been saved, once, once we are saved and accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, God wants you to go and be a voice to others because there's probably people in your family that are not saved. Do you come from... From, from I Buddhism come, or? No, I come from a Christian family. Christian so family. My grandparents. And uh, all your parents like my born parents again? Are, yes, they are. Uh, yes. My, I have cousins and stuff who aren't, but yes. that's something. But then I found. Do you ever have that, that talk? Have you ever felt to yes. have that talk? I've, Good I've on had you. that yes. talk a couple of times uh, with friends around me. Um, Amen. I feel like, well, my understanding is when you come to the faith, and when you first understand God's love, which overcomes. Born again, spirit filled Christian, he's been preaching. <laughs> his name's Joshua. Uh, this is Nina. 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 He's Nina? such a pleasant yeah. young man. Pleasure to meet you. And that's... How are you doing? What, what do you mean where I'm from? Where, where or what are you? ethnicity? Nationality. Yeah, also, I was born in Australia, but my nationality is Korean. Co Korea. How about yourself? Amen. And this is, How about yourself? This is another oh, friend? from New Zealand. New Zealand, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, Hi, this brother. Is, how are you, darling? Christian. Uh, Christian. Christian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, darling? Uh, my name is Joshua. 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 Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. A good man of God after Moses. Eh? Mm -hmm. A man of God after Moses. <laughs> yeah. Jo jo Joshua. Yeah, you know Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah, 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 Amen. God choose Joshua yeah. after <laughs> Moses passed away. Amen. And God Amen. said, Joseph, you get ready. Mm -hmm. Leave my... Lead the people, the people of Israel. Yeah. Amen. 